This next match is for the heavyweight title. Which one is he doing with first? I don't know what you're doing So advertised tonight was a heavyweight title match of Brute Boy Wiley versus Preacher John Cannon. But you see the thing is, after our last encounter, John Cannon was a little too scared for his life to get a lot more proved. So tonight, I have no opponent. Better questions for all of you. Do you guys want to see the Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Root Boy Riley wrestle tonight? Yeah. Yeah. You guys can do a lot better than that. Do you guys want to see Root Boy Riley wrestle tonight? Yeah. Now that's more like it. So tonight is going to be the first of many. And yes, I say many. Rude Boy Riley Open Challengers. Tonight I want to give someone a chance. Someone from that locker room to step up to the plate. I want to give someone a chance to fight for the most important championship in all of professional wrestling. And it's not Angel Ortiz. So tonight, I lay down the challenge. Whoever wants to come out here and fight for this belt, you're more than welcome for your life to get a lot more move. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second here. 
Anthony Gago not even waiting for the one, not even waiting for Sam Gomez hey, to leave you, the ring. Can you blame him? Can you blame him attacking him uh, before the bell like that? Not at all. Riley turned his back on his opponent. Gago is hungry. The man is no stranger to championship gold, and for him to come in here in his first ever Warriors Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match, this is a big deal. He's going to try to capitalize on it. Turned his back on his opponent. The bell hadn't rung. He wasn't even his opponent yet. Hey, man. You got you to gotta be aware of all times. Oh, oh, our first of what I imagine is many knees from Rude Boy Riley. And Gangone doing a smart thing, taking his time, taking his time. Taking his time, doing, taking the cowardly way. Taking the cowardly way here outside the ring. Yeah. And Rude Boy Riley catches him coming back in. Looking for those springboard double knees. Nice. Sends Gangone to the outside. Well, yeah, as he stands at the top of their feet here, nice! Another shot there, cutting him off as he was going for that dive. Can go and have that well scouted. Now let me ask you as a competitor here at Warriors of Wrestling, at any given moment, taking an open challenge for the heavyweight championship, do you have Root Boy Riley scouted? Absolutely, I mean, I honestly feel like a bit of a dum-dum. I should have accepted that challenge. You're here at the broadcast position. I appreciate the company, sir. Yeah. Man. Well, yeah, no, I mean, you got to, your word travels fast in the wrestling business. People know when uh, schedules changes and the card changes, and you got to be on top of that, you know, because the biggest part of wrestling is being in the right time, in the right place, just like uh, Riley was there for that flying knee off the top. A beautiful knee from Riley. Is he setting up for something? He ain't going up, so Riley unable to go for the pin. Oh! Very Looking. innovative maneuver there. I don't know if that's what Gango intended or not, but it, he got the most of it. He should be capitalized. Oh. And Gango and ringing the bell. I didn't hear it ring earlier. I thought it rang us after. I, he hit I, did, I, I did hear the bell ring earlier, but Gango deciding he wanted a little bit more, I guess. And so in terms of having Root Boy Riley scouted, I guess it's just kind of a mad dash to see who comes out first. From yeah. the locker room, we're going to see some open challenges in the future. Uh, look at that. Look at those mule kicks there from uh, from Kangon there behind the referee's back as he had him in the corner. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine it was that, exactly that. I mean, it, it could have been really, like we're talking about having Rude Boy Riley scattered. What's, what's Riley's position like? Did he know Kangon was coming out? It could have been Anthony Kangon. It could have been Atticus Bolts. It could have been TK Luther. You will never know. That's true. What is... Gangone catches Riley. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Drops him right on the back of the neck. Oh, and only a two. Ruba Riley fighting out. Uh, how Riley kicked out of that, I have no idea. I've seen that maneuver put away many, many a superstars. And Gangone, that's the, on the back of those tights, the sexy savior. Kind of gross, if you ask me, I'll admit. And now a knee of his own to Ruba Riley, cinching in the chin. A lot of Root Boy Riley's offense, we talk about his knees, but a lot of that offense, there's some high flying in there. There's, uh, there's mat wrestling in there. Root Boy Riley all around, a, a phenomenal wrestler. Taking out the back, taking out the back, taking out the spine. Really oh, oh, great oh, oh my goodness. Uh, right to the face, and that's this it. This could be, that's it, it's he over. needs to cover him quickly. This could He's be got a one, could have a two, two anyway. Oh. And referee looks like he broke that count because going at his hand on the rope there. Excellent refereeing now. Breaking that pin. Rude Boy Riley's. If you look up Gangone's track record, the guy's no stranger to a championship gold, as I said. So he's definitely. Oh, wait a minute, what's he up for? What's Rude Boy Riley thinking here? Are we going for the lightning spiral? That's the lightning spiral. That was That's always been his go to maneuver here. If he could go, just cap one, get the cover. That could have taken his. That could be all he had left. Both men fighting their feet. That impact, that impact is also on Rude Boy Riley. Rude Boy Riley has to fight to his feet as well. Both men just about even. Oh, oh good job. And another. Rude Boy Riley trading punches and chops. Kind of around the world here. Oh, what are we gonna hear? And here we go, Riley now. Like a house of fire. This could be the moment Riley could use here. Capitalize on knee after knee. And I believe it, more knees. Oh! He's slowly taking Gangone off his feet. 
Middle of the ring Drops now. The cover. One, two. Oh. So close, can't go and still fighting out. And your boy Riley, well scouted by Anthony Gangone. I both men somewhat evenly matched right now. Here's this for a question. If this was for the shot for the title, I mean, I gotta wonder why Jason Karloff didn't capitalize, but he did. Well, Jason Karloff has been picking his spots. Preventing, wait a second here. P puts him up here, and he's gonna put him right down. Oh. A seated power bomb. One, two, and disoriented him there with the twist. But yeah, like I said, I mean, is always Jason Karloff gonna wait to, ca to cash in when he has his own championship? He's got his own championship match at the eight year anniversary and has seemed on a destruction course to take out anyone that would stand in his way. And it doesn't just seem that he wants the heavyweight championship. He wants to beat Rude Boy Riley. Well, I was just going to say, do you think it matters to him? Do you think he wants Rude Boy Riley to make it to December champion? Or would he be just as happy if, uh, say, Gangon were to pull up the upset here tonight? I think, you know, he's he prevented Ethan Carter III from, from finishing that match. He prevented Shelton Benjamin, who is here tonight, from finishing his right, match. But that's... Oh, wait a minute. Sets him up here. Reverse Boston Crab. No. Turns him into a, a nice hammer lock here. Well, all right. So that... that a guy like Shelton Benjamin, EC3, these guys are on another level in terms of competition. Nothing to take away from Gangone, but he's a little bit more under the radar. So would it be uh, the same level as competition for Karloff to go up against a guy like Anthony Gangone? Jason Karloff somehow feels like the opportunity that he had last year wasn't enough. And he needed to come back. And he needed to, he needed to once again win Ultimate Survival. And then after winning, after losing Ultimate Survival, and then taking the shot from Joey B, it would, seem that, it would seem that he you know, targets, targeting Joey B, targeting Warriors of Wrestling itself, going for the heart. And when you talk about the heart of Warriors of Wrestling, it is that man in the ring right now. It is Rude Boy Riley fighting, fighting for his heavyweight championship right now. Moments away, that pain ripping on the shoulder, the chest muscles, and back at the neck, unable to breathe with his Anthony Gangone's hands over it, fighting to the rope. And you know the significance of this is, is the fact that, oh, nice reversal there from Riley as Gangone tried to roll out of it. I was just going to say the significance there of, of Riley's arm being worked on there. Gangone focusing on the arm. Riley had a, a had a rough night the night previous defending. Yeah, he was previous, a, a previous, a previous, a previous match. Riley working all over the Northeast. Absolutely, he was at Tier One Wrestling, had a hellacious match. His arm was worked on. Gangone had that role scouted, as we were talking about earlier. Scouting Rude Boy Riley stayed on the arm, but Riley somehow able to fight up here, going for another knee off the top, misses. Well, and you want to talk about about targeting the arms? Oh, oh that was a pedigree there. A pedigree there. One, the cover. two, three, and. We almost had a new champion. As I was saying, turning the arms of Root Boy Riley may not make sense at first because of the offense that he carries because of all of the knees. But think that pop-up knee, that pop-up knee that is that that has won so many matches. You can't pop a man up. You can't throw a man into the air without that shoulder, yep. without that push that you've got. Yep, you knew that. Yep, absolutely. And if Root Boy Riley can't get him up, as anything ain't going, seems to be attempting to prevent him from doing. There's right, no pop-up pop up knee. All right, blocking uh, Gangone's attempts here. Well, oh, again, Riley, ever so fighting champion. I mean, that's that's what Riley's been since day one, like him or not. The guy's been a fighting champion through and through as he's fighting through all sorts of adversity here. Oh, nice, this pops up here. What the? What is, what is this? Oh, oh. I have never seen. No, I've never seen no. that maneuver before in my life. Uh, oh, and then a brain buster drops him. Andy Gangone. One, two, we gotta have a new champion here. And Rupert Riley kicks out, maybe instinctively. I don't see him moving much. Maybe there's that kick out refusing to stay down. What is, you, I, at this point you have to wonder what Anthony Gangone has to do to keep Rude Boy Riley down. Uh, you know what he has to do? He has to tell all of these fans to go home because as long as Rude Boy Riley has to 
support of all these fans here at the Fun Station in his hometown of Staten Island. Ruben Riley is always going to use that energy to fight through any and any and all adversity ahead, but right to the sternum there. Absolutely. So it's, it's about a one-on-one -on -one match, heavyweight championship. Oh, this is more like more like more than a hundred to one if you talk about the, the crowd here to support Rude Boy Riley. And it looks like oh, no, no, Anthony getting going. I think he just I think he's just talking about a bra a super brain buster. Back in you know, back in my day, this would have been uh, you're not allowed to do moves off the this top is, rope. This is I would have disqualified getting going right here as OTT over the top here. Oh, and Anthony getting going. Unable to fight out, and Rude Boy Riley attacking that knee. What is he? Wait a second here. <laughs> and they get going, still able to toss Rude Boy Riley, fighting out of that tree. Whoa! And get going. There you go. Setting himself up. Looks like he's going to go maybe up to the top or something here. Rude Boy Riley, Riley, some shots to that knee, certainly slowing him down, getting up there. This could be the moment Gango was looking for. The opportunity to capitalize right here and become the new who warriors of wrestling every week oh! ah, the there's the knee from Rude Boy Riley and a second one can't go still on his feet ah, pop up knee good night this good has night. to be That's it gotta be it one two three and Rude Boy Riley has retained the Warriors of Wrestling heavyweight championship here at Warriors of Wrestling versus the world We've got a fight on our hands. It's Jason Karloff and Rude Boy Riley. Jason Karloff, vicious headbutts on Rude Boy Riley. Jason Karloff has made his presence felt every single month since, since really, since getting his almost the, that pop up knee. He's made his presence felt every month since getting his title shot at the eight year anniversary show in December. But slowly picking apart Rude Boy Riley. When these two men eventually meet, it is going to be fireworks. The fun station may not be able to contain their match. And, and, no, 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 no. The man's already fought a match. Jason Karloff goes for that Splatterhouse 5 Brain Buster. Oh! And instead dropping him on the back of his knee. Dropping him on the knee there, back of the head. And Rude Boy Riley, this is not good for Rude Boy Riley. Jason Karloff just staring over his prey here. He's made his point. I understand, come on. Now with the Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Championship in his hands, Rude Boy Riley's Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Just, just another disgusting act in a long list for Jason Karloff. One of the most dangerous men to ever set foot in a Warriors of Wrestling ring. Despicable act. Rude Boy Riley is, is, is send out some referees to check on Rude Boy Riley here. After a great match with after a great match with Anthony Gango, Rude Boy Riley is, is down. That's after the splatter house on the knee. That's needs needs and we need a doctor here. He hasn't he hasn't uh, hasn't started moving yet on his own. The referee's kind of slowly getting him out of the ring. Hoping you see him walk away from this, to be honest. Rude by Riley, when Rude by Riley is ready, instead of these come from behind attacks from Jason Karloff, you can only imagine what's going to happen, but until then, it does not look good for Rude by Riley.